Good afternoon, as you saw, what does this mean? Water, wet stuff, busy day again. This is where we're at, you ready? Boom, coping's on. It's a black limestone. Um, they are very dusty at the minute. They need cleaning up tomorrow when it's all gone off. But looking good. And I'm going to seal them in with a product. I can't think what it's called. But here's an off cut that I painted earlier. And that's what they're going to look like. It's a satin finish. It's not gloss. But it just protects the, protects the stone. Stops it from getting sun damaged and it just looks good happy with that now because it seems I like spending money at the minute spent, spent quite a few a few quid on that awesome piece of kit look at it the beast no drum it's the big one well, bigger than what I had so that is the final position of the drum so amazingly I'm sure he had it planned really Lee has It's pretty much made it as simple as possible. So this is the skimmer, obviously. Straight into this side of the drum. All valve, 45 degree up. Bottom drain. Cut down ball valve vertically. Up 90, straight into the drum. Um, waste chute, obviously here. That'll run out side of the wall. Down here, we need to cut that hole out. And that'll go into my bucket. And then me water, dirty water pump, will then pump that to the drain. And the overflow, which will come from that pipe. Out of there as well. That bio chamber is going to sit just here somewhere, somewhere in the front here. So again, out of there, into the bio chamber, gravity, pumped out to that two inch return down there. Then one of the other returns on the drum, we're only going to use two, because there is only two, there's three, three inlets, two outlets. Am I getting this all wrong? Do I even know what I'm talking about? Yeah, three in, two out. Anyway, so the other one is going to go down there, piped along here to a pump. These blocks here are going to have the shower sitting on it against the wall, pumped up over the shower and then returned spigot tray on the shower, returned underwater by these two four inch pipes. So very, very near completion, but I'm going to start filling it up right now. Still got quite a bit to do. Roof tomorrow. Oh, I need to get them down. Temporary fix on the roof to stop water um, coming in because of the broken supporting beam. So for the time being, it's flipped up with that wedge under it all the way across just to stop the water running off the back of the wall. And we're going to rebuild the pergola next year, definitely run out of money now so this is how it's going to stay for the time being then next year at some point posts are going to stay in situ 
but new supports, new beams, and maybe some new polycarb depending on how it all fits in. Because I had to make a, an adjustment at the back of the roof here. The polycarb on the back of these raftery bits were too far over for the wall plate bit of wood and then the 6x2 and then the 80mm OSB on the top. So I, I cut that off today. Absolute nightmare. <laughs> like ridiculous. I, I think my saw was a bit blunt, even though it's a relatively new saw, but I hit a couple of screws that were in the in the wood, so whether or not dulled the saw, I do not know, but I wanted to smash it up. But I got there in the end, and then I just sealed the ends of the polycarb off and put the caps back. The cl end closing piece back on that end, and then put some tape on the top to hold it together. Just hold it on, stop it coming off. So yeah, big day. Zeroed me water meter, look, nudder, nothing, we can't see it, not focusing, I'm going to plug it in because we need to get some decent water in it because we need to make sure everything works and we're running out more, well, I say we, Lee's running out of days to get it all done, he's on holiday as well so there's no backup at the end of the week, so we're going to plug it in, we're going to have some water in it, it's not going to leak, I'm not panicking, so, here we go. I can do this one handed, maybe not. What are you doing, man? plan is straight from the tap just filling it up as fast as I can and then I'm going to put some sodium thiosulfate in to nuke the chlorine and that'll be that again more than happy with progress just want it done now but um, it's not probably going to be completely finished for a while but fish should be in at the end of the week if we want Stand here and watch it all night filling up. And in fact, I can't fill it past that two inch return. Not that it will, there's a lot to go because there's nothing on the end of it. Obviously, as you know, it's just completely uh, open. But yeah, looking good. Loads of little bits to do still. Skimmer faceplate needs going on. This cement under the copings, that's going to be painted black as well. Then obviously clean the copings off and seal them in. And then probably won't get done this week at some point very soon. The tiles for the outside of the pond to be put on. Which is a shame, but it's just the way it is. There's been a, a few little things that have taken a bit longer than initially thought to get stuff done and finished. My poor original build, if I'm honest. But hey, the fish will be in. It won't be detrimental to the running of the pond. It'll, uh, it'll be done when it's done. I'm not bothered. The rest of the garden isn't gonna be done until next year anyway. Uh, as I've been saying, it's a bit of a big job. I want it all paved, the whole lot, bar that corner. And I'm gonna have the paving up on this, right up to the window. I think that's gonna look smart. So the levels of the garden are gonna be a little bit higher. So it's gonna take 
it's gonna take forever to save up for that but that'll be next year hopefully next may i need to try and work out how much paving i need but i'm thinking it's going to be between 60 and 70 square meters um so there's quite a few thousand pounds worth of tile before we even start talking about labor for someone or me to do it all time and then sand and cement and all of that stuff so but anyway it's all about getting the pond done let's get the pond done and then worry about everything else and that's what i was thinking a bit of a double whammy next year and get the patio done and then get the pergola rebuilt um yeah we're getting there now there's water going in it seems even more real uh, electrics are going to be an issue but my mates away now so we're going to at the time for the time being i'm going to run it off that the old pond wire um, it's on its own rcd or whatever you want to call it it's obviously it'll run the the old pond on it before so it's more than capable um, probably not going to have the heater plumbed in just yet but everything else can run off of that and then when we make it back, we can get all of the, the lights, the switches, the plug sockets in their correct homes. Because there's a bit of planning to do. It's not a bad thing. Because once we've got everything, we've changed a few things in here about where we'd like stuff. So there's probably going to be a plug socket or two over here. Maybe one over here for that. And then obviously I've got light, light switch, outside light switch for the lighting above the pond we're getting there really getting there anyway so that's today's update um that's it really just put water in standard standard excitement so thanks for watching i'll catch you later and i'll see you soon bye